Anthony Edwards, LaMelo Ball, Obi Toppin, James Wiseman, Isaac Okoro. All of those players have a decent chance at getting picked number one overall in this year's draft. But out of all the prospects in the world, who would you pick? This decision is a lot harder than it sounds. Take Anthony Bennett, for example. They could have had a franchise player like Giannis. But the thing is about Giannis that there's no proof that he would have been a two-time MVP in just seven years. Just to show you how unpredictable drafting is, let me give you guys a quiz. These are three NBA players' college stats. These players are all in the same draft class. If you had to make one of these players your number one overall pick, who would it be? I'm gonna reveal the answers in three, two, one. Yeah, that's very unexpected. In fact, drafting a player is so unpredictable that in the last 40 years, only 30% of the time, the people actually select the best player in the draft. But who'd make a chart about that? No, seriously, who'd make a chart about that? I did. I spent two and a half hours working on this chart. But anyways, back to my point. You could see that 12 out of the 40 prospects were actually the best player in the draft. On average, the best player is around the second to fourth pick. Or unless you're Giannis and you get picked 15th. And also, we all know picking Marvin Bagley over Luka Doncic, Trey Young, and Shea Gilch Alexander was a bad decision after they got drafted. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys another quiz. Here are three NBA player stats before they were in the NBA. There is a three and done, international prospect, and a one and done. All of these players are in different draft classes, but let's just say they're all in one draft class. Out of these three players, who would you select first overall? I'ma reveal the answers in three, two, one. So out of these three players, one of them has obviously had the most successful career, Markel Fultz. <laughs> now I'm just kidding, it's Mikhail Bridges. <laughs> no, but seriously, how did somebody expect this to become a two-time MVP? But stuff like this happens. If you get the first overall pick and actually select the best player, that's considered lucky. If you select the first overall pick, that player has a 20% chance of winning an MVP. Out of the thousands of potential MVPs out there, the NBA draft narrows the prospects down to about 80. Out of those 80, 60 will make it into the NBA. Out of those 60 who do make it into the NBA, 52 of them will actually play at least a second in the NBA. Out of those 52 who do actually play, 39 of them will play at least one season. Out of those 39 who do play a season, 12 will average 10 points or more throughout their NBA career. Out of those 12 people, five will at least become an all-star one time and about every draft class there's an mvp and the thing is in the last 17 years there has been just as many number one overall picks that were bust as there was mvps okay i'm gonna give you guys one last quiz here are three players pre-nba stats one of them is an international prospect and the other two are one and dones they are all in the same draft class if you had to pick one of these players as a first overall pick, who would you pick? I'ma reveal the answers in three, two, one. So the player you just picked, that's the player you think will go number one overall in this year's draft. These are every player's strengths and what they specialize in. You could get a 7-1 big man that, in my opinion, is the best player in the draft. But you also have a 6-8 point guard that is probably the best passer and playmaker in the draft. But then again, you have what most mock drafts say is the number one overall pick in the draft. 
leave in the comments below who you think is going to go first overall. And until next video.